Hi, Taurus. I'm here to do your reading for February, and the deck I'm using is the Fairy Tarot Cards by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine. And I'm going to do a general layout and just get the reading from the energy from the cards. First I'll lay three cards down and then four cards. And then another three cards. These last three cards are going to be strictly for love because it is the month of love. It's the month of February. So let's start with the first card is three of autumn, which is three of coins. And then we have ten of spring or ten of wands, four of summer, four of cups, six of winter, six of swords, queen of winter, queen of swords, eight of summer, which is eight of cups, and the emperor. Well, we might as well start with the emperor because this is you. You are very logical and very successful and very organized, a master of your world, of your emotions, of your love, what you want and what you don't want, and you are very intelligent, so people will come to you for, for advice, for guidance, for direction, and they respect you and trust your judgment. Currently, there is some situation going on around you. You are, you are working hard, and you should be working hard because you have a lot of responsibilities with Ten of Wands that you have the most responsibilities possible. There is, you can't pick up another responsibility or another burden. You would have to remove some in order to pick up another one. And you might want to take a chance and look at that because you might not, you might be carrying around burdens or doing things unnecessary. You could give them back to whoever is responsible for them. You are, Tauruses are very um, generous and compassionate and they like to help when they can. And the, a lot of these responsibilities or duties you do probably aren't even yours. And you might want to take that time to look at them and, and give them back because it would free you up. It would free you up to to work towards something you want to work towards, something that you are passionate about and that you want to develop your talents in more. And you won't miss out. There's some kind of love that's being offered to you, some, some kind of... Um, offering from that would be very very beneficial for you from the divine from the universe they are trying to trying to give you a a perk a, a reward a bonus because you are on the right track you're going the right way you're doing a good job and you you deserve it you deserve to be happy and they are trying to give you this but you are so preoccupied with all of your responsibilities and all your burdens and, and your daily life that you aren't paying attention to the subtleties that are your luck and the subtleties of things that are being offered to you or brought to you at this time. It could be because there is something that is causing you strife. Is it the burdens that you are doing? Too much responsibilities? Something is causing you strife. Something is making you tense and nervous and giving you headaches and a lot of tension. And you are in the process of moving away from that. You want to move to a, a area that is calmer, more peaceful, more logical, and, and more rewarding. It could be in regards to this Queen of Winter, which is a Queen of Swords, which is the air signs. The air signs are Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. 
And they are all about in their head, in their mind, in their thinking and communicating. So they are strong and self-sufficient, but they are also very straightforward. They don't let the emotions get in their way. They will tell you how it is. And this this uh, air sign could be the one that is causing the strife and the tension around you. And you no longer want to deal with this because I see you have dealt with this for at least eight years with Eight of Cups. And you know that you can't put up with this anymore. It's time for you to move on and you want to learn more things. You want to grow just as it shows up here. You want to evolve. You want to mature. You want to, you have been stagnant in this situation, running laps and not getting very far. And it's time for you to, to learn from this and to move on and to have a different different life ahead of you. You aren't sure on where you're going. You don't know where this new path is going to lead you. You just know you need to move on. You need to learn. You need to move on because this is no longer serving your purpose, nor are you learning from it any longer. So let's look at your love. You have the wheel. Six of Autumn, which is Six of Coins, and Ten of Autumn, which is Ten of Coins. That is a really great way to end the reading. You first have the wheel. So in your relationship for the month of February, luck is going to turn in your favor. Things are going to start going your direction. You are going to start being lucky, fortuitous. You are going to... Um, be happy. You are going to start having, you'll feel like your heart is just going to explode with joy because you're just going to enjoy waking up every day and going through your day. There is a person who is very, very um, giving to you. You give to them and they give to you. You guys care for each other a lot. And this is probably the love that you have that is bringing you a lot of happiness and joy. You have this unconditional love for each other where you care and you're very compassionate and very nurturing. And it brings you to this, raw, this really strong, secure, family, stable life. You are secure with your family and it could be this person who is leading you to this by the end of February. You are financially secure in your position and in your family, from the children, the pets, to the grandparents, to the parents, to the siblings, the brothers, the sisters, and you're really strong with your traditions and your your family ways and process. This looks like a really good love reading. There's just some issue you need to you need to release all the burdens, all the responsibilities and move on. Move on, go down that path to a brighter future. Your luck is turning in your favor. So now is the time. This is a perfect opportunity for you to move on. Looks like you're going to have a good month of February. I hope you do and bless you all.